going on? My name is back here today with a video, and today I'm going to be starting a series here on uh, for Flow Lab. I am doing a Flow Lab tutorial series. I'm hoping the screen is right. So whenever you go to uh, start off uh, going into Flow Lab, you'll see a screen kind of like this with sign in up at the top right instead of, you know, Magma do 100 in my games. Basically, you sign in or sign up if you haven't already. And then, uh, you know, there's the games tab that you can go to and you can play all these amazing games. This one's a really good one right here. Zombie Beach Party. I like it a lot. It's really cool. Anyways, uh, you're going to want to go over to my games for starting to make a game. What you are then going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, press to make a new game. And if you're wondering what Upgrade Now is, then I'll tell you. Upgrade Now is basically going to bring you to a plan page. You have Free, you have Indie, Education, and Studio. Each of these show every single thing that you can use. Three games and 50 objects. I will show you how to get around the 50 objects part. One user account, which is, uh, you know, your regular account. However, you cannot export a game. No teams, uh, which means you can't have uh, a team of people working with you. And no sound uploading. Sadly. Very sad. However, if you get the indie version, I currently have the free plan. Uh, there is... Unlimited games, you can make unlimited games, you have unlimited objects, you have unlimited levels. Uh, you know, there, there's the one user account. You can export games for iOS, Android, and Windows PC. There is team collaboration and upload custom sounds. And I can see that the camera is bugging out again. Very sorry. This is for $10 a month. Uh, and then, of course, there's the education studio. Uh, you know, unlimited user accounts, limited student accounts, exporting, and yeah. So basically, it gives you unlimited accounts for both of these. Which means, um, uh, you can connect a bunch of people to one, uh, to one plan. Uh, and yeah, I don't know how it's really done, but yeah. So basically, uh, you know, uh, I really want the indie version, but I have no money. Anyways, to the tutorial now. <clears throat> so to start making a game, like I have these two games here, uh, that will be for an entirely separate tutorial series and I will be doing devlogs on my other channel for Crime Apocalypse. Basically, you're gonna wanna go over to New Game to create a new game. And it's gonna show up this screen right here, okay? And you can go through the full up tutorial, which shows you how to make a, uh, how to make a platformer game but I am going to be showing you guys a uh, uh, different way of doing stuff. So for right now, click empty project, unless you do want to just click out of this video and go to the flood uh, to sort it. Uh, so now you have your scene and you're like, oh God, it's blank. What do I do? What do I do? What do, I do? What do, I do? What do, do? <clears throat> so calm down. Uh, and first off, uh, you might be wondering, okay, what does this white square represent? Well, if we click play right here, there's, uh, that's the amount of area on the screen. So I'm going to start with these bond buttons first. So library is the, uh, basically the library of the different objects that you have. Game levels is, of course, the levels of your game. For a uh, free account, you only get five levels. I know it's really bad, but, uh, you know, I've been able to work around it and work on um, layer, there's the black, there's the background layer, there is the game world, and the user interface. I will go over these in a separate, uh, in, in another video. Then you have the settings. This looks very complicated, doesn't it? Doesn't it? But I'm going to be going over this. Uh, starting with the name. For name, I'm going to call this, uh, tutorial series there we go and the gravity is something that you shouldn't worry about unless you're having a fun gravity game x is basically the gravity going along the x-axis 
So if we put this negative, it's going to be going that way. If we put it to positive, it's going to be going that way. But right now we have it on zero. And gravity for y, you know, positive is going down because this is a different type of graph. Uh, and then negative is going up. Uh, the physics drag is, you know, uh, whatever something is moving, how much is it going to have drag. Max players is for multiplayer, but if you're using a free account, which if you're watching the series, you more than likely are, uh, you don't need to worry about this because uh, you don't get multiplayer for the free version. Really sad, but true. Uh, don't display in games list. I'm really sad that you can't just click this. <laughs> <laughs> it makes this on other people cannot see um, cannot see the game um, in your game list in case you know you don't want people to play it until it's done and then you know this will bring you right over to the pricing plan thing and if you if you think why use this if it's not going to give you that much well here's the thing this is a really good practice game engine I have been using fallup.io and by using this, I am slowly being able to understand more of uh, how to, or I'm able to help my brother a lot more with um, uh, with making his games on uh, Unreal Engine. I'm able to help him out by doing all this. I will also be showing you guys a uh, great uh, 3D game engine uh, in a future series. Um, but that's whenever I understand that a lot more. But this is a 2D game engine. Of course, I do want to show you guys one more thing before we actually start hopping into creating this. There is a, uh, there's the home, which is the home page. There's games where it shows other people's games. There's a help uh, function in which we're going to control shift click. Uh, and I'll show you guys that in a moment. There's forms that I've actually got that open right here. Uh, uh, there's the pricing that I kind of already went through. Is he even showing? Uh, there's pricing up here, and then there's education that basically shows the educational use of FlowUp.io. And I'm sorry if the camera is going a little wonky. I'm trying to fix it right now. Anyways. <clears throat> The uh, the help section gives you video tutorials, helpful examples, user guide, behaviors, handbook, getting started, introduction to behaviors, and behavior cookbook. Um, I like to use the helpful examples because it's basically um, a bunch of uh, kind of small little uh, game-like things that show you different things. However, they don't show you everything. Yes, there's like all of this, and it may seem like a lot, and it, I do have to admit, it is very, very helpful. However, it doesn't show you how to do everything. Uh, the enemy movement, I found a better way of doing that. Um, and yeah. So, let's go ahead and click to open, to open the editor. By the way, if you ever want to get back into the game you uh, after clicking the play button you click open editor screenshot is i'm gonna have to show you guys uh it's basically this right here you click to do the screenshot it's not going to save it to your computer but it is going to put it up right here and it is only going to do a nine by nine uh kind of thing so if you want to extend the size of your game then yeah also, if you don't add anything to the game, it's going to ask you this again. So just click on Empty Project. Anyways, uh, this uh, the width and height is basically the size of this. So what we're going to do is we're going to put ours to 17 and 11. Uh, simply so we have a direct center block right here. Anyways, uh, I'm going to set up a screen and I will be right back. Alright, so if you're wondering how to add something to your scene, basically all you have to do is click somewhere empty, uh, and you click to create, or uh, if you accidentally clicked, you can click cancel. What I've done here is I've added in dirt, and uh, as you can see there, as soon as we click it, there are a couple things. There's clone, edit, cancel, and delete. Delete deletes that block. Clone allows you to clone it, that's how you get around the object thing, because it's only... 
as you can see if we go to library it's only taking up one even though we have a lot of these so it's kind of the game objects inside of the library <clears throat> the way that i change the background is by going into game levels you can either type in the specific color uh all capital F's for white and uh, all zeros for black. Uh, or you can click on a little uh, color square and you can go ahead and select any of the colors. So say you want your background to be uh, yellow. Uh, you can go ahead and do that. Once you click OK, it changes it to yellow. But in our case, we are going to have it being blue. Now then, you might be wondering, all right, all right, you know, now how do I create a character? Well that part is very simple. You're going to click create and you're going to be introduced to this. Now uh, there are a lot of things here and there's uh, and I'm going to be going over this side first. So first of all in the physics if we're going to make a movable character we want to click movable if you guys can see that. Uh, if you're, uh, We'll go over the effect of my gravity in a separate tutorial. It is solid, that means do you want it to be able to move through blocks. If we click for it not to be solid, uh, I'll show you guys this right here. Uh, so as you can see, it'll just fall through the map. So we're going to go back to edit, and we're going to click for it to be solid. Uh, you can enable its rotation, or if you don't want it to be solid, you can enable collisions. Uh, we have density, which is how dense the object is. Bounce, do we want it to be bouncy? I'm going to show you guys how to have fun with that in just a second. Uh, there's also friction. Uh, that's mainly for if you want to have uh, ships or something. I still haven't figured out friction that well. Shape is the size of its collision box. So uh, circle is usually what it puts it up as. There's rectangle, capsule, and polygon. I don't know what polygon is. However, capsule makes it kind of, uh, kind of like a rectangle but uh, it kind of squeezes in the sides a little bit more, and yeah. Circle is kind of like a ball, you know, uh, rectangle is a rectangle. So um, now that we've turned the bounce all the way up right here, I'm going to show you guys something pretty funny. It bounces. <laughs> I don't know why, but I find it amusing. It's much more amusing to go like this, however. Not so happy. Okay, I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, the game engine is still not finished yet, so it's going to be a little bit glitchy. But we're going to turn bounce off, and what we're going to do is we're going to click to edit our sprite. So uh, there are a lot of buttons here, and you might be overwhelmed, but stay with me here. This is to basically, uh, uh, this is to kind of draw right here. You can take a, uh, uh, you can click one of the colors down here. Or you can click the square right here to bring up the color wheel and change it however you would like. You can just basically hold down the mouse and draw. This is uh, to erase, and you know, you can erase that. There's also this, which kind of bumps the size of, uh, of it, so you know, we can clear out all of this. This right here is to move it up and down in case you want to move it up and down. It will move it along with the grid. Um, so if you want it to only be moved a small bit, you go over to one and you can move it like that. This, I believe, is to, uh, yeah, it's to move the whole grid itself. You guys can't see that, so let me just go like that. And as you can see, it's moving the entire grid. So if you want to focus on a specific bit, uh, then yeah. This is the color picker, so you can pick a color. Um, you just gotta click on that, and you click on any of your color. And if you look over at the um, little color square, you will see that it is changing color. This is the fill option, so you can fill up with a different color, as you can see. Uh, undo, you can undo stuff or redo, uh, which, as you can see, does that. Uh, the X is to clear the entire thing. This is animation, I'll get into that in, uh, in another video. Uh, this little magnifying glass with the plus right here is to zoom in, and then the one with the minus is to zoom out. This one right here, don't know what it does, I don't know what both of these do, but this one right here changes the scale of the grid so we can have it uh, 
so we can have it to be a uh, two by two object uh, if we want, or we can increase it all the way to um, 11 by seven, in case you wanted to make the American flag. <laughs> um, but we're just gonna keep it at a simple one by one. Uh, we're actually gonna test what this does. What does that do? All right, well, I don't know what those do, but basically you can go over to browse and it'll show uh, the sprites that you've already made. As you can see, we got my dirt and the one that we're working on currently. Uh, we can go ahead and go and uh, there are multiple different assets that we can use and there's the get more sprites. I'll get into that in a little bit. But there's upload. You can upload your own sprites. I'm not going to show you guys my files on this Chromebook. You can download uh, them. You can download what's ever right here onto your computer, and I'm gonna unselect that. Uh, and then there's the OK that says, you know, OK, I'm done editing the sprite. So we're gonna go over and we're gonna go and we're gonna select uh, pixel characters because these ones look a lot better. <clears throat> and uh, you got the female, you got the male, uh, you got a cat, uh, you got two cats actually. You got two dongs, you got a little eye bat right here. You have a pig, which I don't see why the eye bat comes first. But then you got these two weird looking uh, monsters right here, and then you got some blades. Blades are for skating. Uh, but we're gonna choose to make a male character right here, and we can edit him however we like. Um, so let's say we wanted to give him a blue shirt uh, we can go ahead and do that like so um oh, i'm getting a little mixed up okay yeah uh so i'm gonna select that one and we're gonna do that sorry that the mouse is so loud <laughs> Um, so yeah, as you can see, it kind of uh, they kind of provide you with a wide variety of things. The tutorial sprites are uh, are from the uh, little tutorial thing that I uh, said that you can go ahead and skip if you want to watch this tutorial. Basically, you know they got slimes, they got spikes, they got water, um, uh, they got you know little background stuff, they got ground, little grass tufts. I like the grass tufts a lot better right here though. Uh, and they got all of this good stuff right here. Uh, Pixel Blocks is uh, kind of the one that I like to use personally uh, for placing down blocks, and I kind of just edit them. Uh, they have a wide variety of different blocks. They even got all tree parts, except for uh, except for the uh, bottom of it, bottom of the tree, <laughs> uh, the stump. That's what it's called. Uh, you know, you have the pixel characters that I went over. You have pixel objects. Uh, which is like all of this right here. I am gonna be using uh, these things how they're pre-made stuff um, You have the pixel town, which is kind of stuff for if you want to build like a 2d town or something like that You know you got all this stuff uh, for like background elements. I don't know why the hearts there that uh, I, I don't know um, but Basically, uh, we're gonna click ok on our character right here And I'm actually gonna change your shirt color because I just realized I made the background blue <laughs> uh, we're gonna make his shirt gray. I'll be right back. Alright, so as you can see, we have our little character right here. You might be thinking, that looks very small. Is this how it's gonna show up? Um, no, it's gonna show up like this, so you'll see a little bit closer. Uh, the camera is kind of far away from the computer, uh, so it kind of looks pretty small, but it's a lot bigger than it looks. Uh, so now, um... You're probably like, all right, all right, all right. Why isn't he moving? Well, it's because we need to put some coding into him. Uh, so if we go ahead and we click the edit, we need to go over to behaviors, but there's also type in object. Object is uh, the name of this singular object. So say we were to change the name of this one to object 20. Uh, well, this one is object 3, and this one is object 16. So the object is kind of uh, how you how you kind of differentiate the clones uh, that you can do. And you can also just manually click to clone right here, as you can see. Once you're done cloning, you just click done cloning. 
the type is uh, the actual object. So as you can see, um, if we change this from new type one to dirt, it's now going to change all the objects uh, type to dirt. Uh, so we're just gonna rename this as player here, player. And now we're gonna go over the behaviors. And now you're like, oh god, what's all this? Well, basically, um, the triggers are kind of the input. So you know you have the, except for the mailbox. I don't know why the mailbox is here. <clears throat> you have the proximity. You know the area uh, that it gives. Okay, I'm just gonna show it right here. So basically it gives you a little circle that you can go ahead and hold down the plus and you can increase this or if you want a specific number. And yeah, it's very common. All this is kind of like, the way that I explain it is very complicated. This will just put in uh, one kind of impulse once. Uh, yeah, but basically what we really need to go down to uh, is behavior bundles because there are a bunch of behavior bundles well, it's really just these three to start off with. I created these, uh, these three right here. But if you're gonna make a 2D game, a 2D platformer game, you're gonna want to use Run and Jump. And uh, now you're like, all right, so uh, what if I want to change around the coding? Well, you're gonna want to go over to this, and you're gonna click the Open button. And it's, <laughs> it looks a little complicated at the beginning, but then you'll understand it. Uh, if you collide with anything right here we can go ahead and change this if we want so we're gonna select that so it's only the top of the uh of the dirt all right and or actually we're gonna click for it to be um just the top of anything because that's a lot easier uh it's basically going to turn on the switch you know um when we press up it's uh it's going to go uh, into a number of 12 and it's gonna go all the way in to the switch and go out to the impulse going up and whenever you release the button uh, hence the up it's going to turn off this which means um, <clears throat> until we collide with something we cannot press uh, and we press the up button it's not going to you know do that of course, you can always change the keys to um, to anything you would like. So you can go ahead and change it over to like um, WASD, but I'm gonna keep it with the arrow keys because it's kind of uh, less likely for me to have my fingers up in the camera, uh, show up on the camera. So now that we have the uh, run and jump, uh, you know, we can move our character around. I don't know why he's not jumping. Like I said, there are a couple of uh, bugs and glitches that you will encounter. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, replace that because that's probably the issue. I don't know, because sometimes this thing doesn't, there we go, yeah. See, uh, so now, you know, you can run and jump your character along and yeah. So now you're probably wanting some animations for your character. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to click to edit the sprite, you're going to go pick an animation, create a new one, and you can name the animation whatever you want to name it, I'm just going to name it walk, <coughs> and now we can go ahead and add stuff on. If you're using one of the, if you're using this sprite right here, um, then you can go ahead and just, you know, uh, add this in, I'm actually going to redo that. This is, uh, the plus button is to add in a frame, uh, the minus button is to delete a frame, you can cancel in case you misclicked, or you can delete the entire animations, we're gonna, or animation. Um, so basically now we're gonna click to use this one because it comes with its own uh, preset ones. So uh, I'm gonna change the shirt color and I'll be back. All right, so as you can see, I kind of changed the shirt color. So now this will play the animation right here. So as you can see, you know, it's doing kind of a walking animation. The delay uh, going up kind of adds a delay between each frame. So if we up this a lot, it will go very slowly. However, if we decrease it a lot, 
it goes really fast. <laughs> Gotta go fast. Da, 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 da. Uh, so we're gonna have this back up to five. And now we're gonna click OK. We're gonna go into behaviors. And now, you're probably wondering how, how, do, we, how do we add in the animation? Well, we're gonna make two keyboards, uh, which is basically two clicks. Um, clicks of a button. So we're gonna do one for right and one for left. <clears throat> Now we're gonna go and we're gonna find the animation one right here. We're gonna make sure that it's the walk animation. And we're gonna go and we're gonna click loop animation. Now we're gonna move both of these to uh, uh, the down. So whenever we press down on the button, uh, it'll go and start the animation. Now we're gonna click for whenever we release the button, it's going to stop the animation. Of course, if you're encountering if you're encountering bugs that actually deal with the proper game engine having a bug or a glitch, of course, all you have to do is you have to press to play. You go to my games and then uh, you scroll back down and uh, click on again. However, an alternative is to just click uh, the reload button. So now, if we go like this, our character is moving. Hmm. There we go. See. Yeah, sometimes it does glitch out a little bit, um, so yeah, and to, uh, negate the fact that it doesn't start immediately, so if we move, you can see that he's not doing the animation, all we have to do is decrease the delay, but that's gonna be all for the video for today, guys and gals, and I will see you guys all later, bye!